Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a Get Ready With Me featuring some new products to my collection. So I have the Pat McGrath quads from Holiday. I finally got my hands on the Lunar Beauty blush palette that's been out for a while. I have the new Fenty lip product. I got it in the shade Honey Waffles, which is the shade I wanted. And I have the Pat McGrath highlighter somewhere around here. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts, then just keep watching. So I'm really excited for these quads. So I think what I'm gonna do is start off with swatches. So you guys know what they all swatch like. So I know what they all swatch like. This is the one that definitely caught my attention first. So this is the Interstellar Icon quad. So there's that quad. Let's see, so y'all, here's the first shade. It's a pretty champagne. Ooh, ooh, that color is so pretty. These are gorgeous. So there's Interstellar Icon swatch on my skin tone. I think my next favorite one is this, and this is Risqué Rose. I knew that purple was going to be gorgeous, but holy smokes. Wow. I've never seen a color like that before. And then it's a beautiful rose coal. So there is the next quad it's called risque rose that's what it looks like fleur fantasia oh my gosh it has a beautiful pink duochrome in it and like a beautiful lilac color too that's a pretty color Ooh! wow so there is the Fleur Fantasia one. That's definitely the lightest of them. So if you have medium to tan to deep skin, you might want to watch out for that one. But holy smokes, these are so pretty. That purple shade, I've never seen anything like it. I think we need to put that on my lids. So I think I'm going to dip into a few of these. Let's see here. Oh, I have to use that hot pink in my crease right now <laughs> so let me find a brush i think i'm going to use this brush it's like a little bit of a dense blending brush this is the e22 from morphe and i'm going to go into this pink probably tap that off and i have prepped my lids with some eye primer so i'm just going to blend that in oh my gosh what a pretty color i was going to pass on these originally but you know what? I'm not mad that I bought them and I got them on sale. So that makes me a little bit happy because, you know, these were like 50 something bucks, <laughs> which Pat McGrath, we know she's not cheap. She is a pricey lady. This is blending really nicely with that thick brush. I love a seamless blend, so... I'm just trying to take my time and blend and pack on this beautiful fuchsia pink color. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, and now I want to use a deepening up shade. I think I'm going to try this because it looks more like a plum, whereas the matte shade in the other palette looks like it's more of a brown and I would love to have like more of a purple in the crease. So I'm just going to use the shimmery shade and kind of blend. Wow. Really like how those two colors are playing together. It's giving the exact effect I wanted it to give. I'm trying to use the mirrors and the palettes because I noticed that when I'm zoomed in and showing you guys eye looks, I tend to like go off screen to look in my mirror. So I'm trying, I'm trying not to do that. <laughs> it is a constant battle <laughs> to be a good YouTuber. <laughs> there is a bit of fallout. I can't see it in my palette mirror but now I can see in this mirror there is some fallout there and now for the beautiful purple shade usually I would use a like a packer like an eyeshadow brush but my nails are really short so I'm figuring I could probably just use my finger 
this is such a pretty color. It's almost like a silvery lilac, like, oh my goodness, this is such a cool color. Like, I have small fingers, but I swear, I just like always end up putting the shadow on my crease too, which is not the end of the world. Wow, such a pretty duochrome shade. It's like a gray with a beautiful pink purple shift. I've never seen Pat McGrath create a color like this. So the one side definitely looks messier than the other, but I'm gonna clean up under my eyes and I'm gonna put some foundation on and I'll be right back to demo some of the other new products I picked up. Okay, so my eyeshadow is done. Now I'm just going to use my favorite bronzer of the moment, the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but I didn't love this in the summertime, but it's been doing so good with my skin for the winter. So if you weren't completely blown away by this bronzer when it launched in the summer, maybe you have skin like mine and you should give it a try in the winter time. Just thought I'd suggest that. Now we're going to go into the Lunar Beauty Blush Palette. I will say, this is definitely kind of as light as it did look on the Sephora website. I think I was expecting a little bit more pigmentation on this, but you know what? We'll make it work. I want to try the shade Soleil. Soleil? Soleil? I don't know. It's got a bit of shimmer to it. This is very light. It definitely has a sheen, so we'll... Just put on the sheen and then I will mix maybe, I think I'm going to do Stargazer because I really want to do something orange, but I feel like I need to go a little bit more neutral. Ooh, I like that. It's cute. Okay, so I will keep testing this out. I know this is really hard to get a hold of, so keep an eye on the Sephora website. I had set a reminder to be notified when it restocks, so that's how I got my hands on it but I like that glow it's giving me. So now I'm gonna try out the Pat McGrath highlighter. I have been using this, honestly. I haven't been blown away, and I didn't think I was gonna get blown away by this highlighter. I mostly bought it to collect it. Um, it definitely has like a pinky hue to it, which I'm not the biggest fan of, if I'm being perfectly honest with you guys, but you know what? I have it. Oh, I just like mashed. Oh my. Karen Harris. I just ran the lid into this highlighter. Wow. Wow. Okay. I messed it up a little bit, but that's okay. This highlighter feels like a hockey puck. It's so heavy. So I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'm definitely glad I didn't pay a full price for it. That's for sure. I'm going to use some of this Pixi Hydrating Milk. I've had that for a while. My skin has just been feeling so dry lately. So now I'm going to use this So Rare Lip Liner. I just wanted to give my lips some color before I hit it with the gloss. So here is the packaging. I've seen so many swatches. Like people have bought all the shades and done full blown swatch videos of this lip formula. This color, let me tell you, if there was ever a gloss that was my shade, it's this one. It's Honey Waffles from Fenty Beauty. This is her new Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream Formula. So nice and glossy and juicy. So all I have left to do is put some mascara on and I will be right back to show you guys the final look. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I had so much fun playing with these new Pat McGrath quads, at least new to me. I know they've been out for a while. I didn't end up trying this one, but let me tell you, from the swatches, it's confirmed. This one, I mean, just by looking at it was gonna be my least favorite, but I will definitely try that out in the future, probably off camera. This one, Risqué Rose, I didn't know what to expect, but man, oh man, that purple shade is so beautiful. It's like a golden purple, silver green. Like, it's got so many shades in it, so I think that shade alone sells this quad to me, and then I am really excited to 
try that purple shade but I'm also really excited for these neutrals because they're deeper and very creamy and just gorgeous so I'm very glad I picked these up I am not mad about them at all the packaging feels pretty true to the regular Pat McGrath quads I'm not overly bothered by any of it I know that different people had different expectations of these as far as I'm concerned I don't mind them at all so I'm very very glad that I picked those up in the end the moon prism blush obviously it was my first time trying this out I literally just got this in the mail today as I'm filming this so I will continue to use this and keep you guys updated on those and then this particular lip formula I really like this compared to the gloss bomb I like that there's no glitters in here it's really comfortable. I need to take this to work and like wear it during a work day. It does definitely have like a fragrance of some kind. It reminds me of like a fruit, but I don't know what. I don't know. I'm not very good at describing these things. So it does have a fragrance if that bothers you, just so you guys know, but I love the color. I really want to pick up like the burnt brownie orange shade that is also part of this collection. I know you guys are going to come for me because listen, I'm a makeup channel, so I love to buy makeup, but the makeup fatigue is setting in you guys. I am definitely kind of a little bit ready for a break <laughs> after vlogmas is through. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys kind of my first impression thoughts on some of these products that I've had for a while, some I just got. So let me know what your favorite product in today's video is. Is there anything that you've been meaning to pick up that I featured in this video? I'm always down in my comment section reading and responding to you guys. So I would love to hear your thoughts on some of these new products. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season and I will talk to you soon. Bye.